Hey everyone out there, this is Nate Strauss, and um, here's little baby Evelyn Strauss, and wanted to review her sweet cargo bike here, as, and uh, more familiarly known in Europe as a box feet, the box bike, literally. Bye -bye. And I can hardly put her down without her wanting to get into it. So let me show you a little bit about it. So here's the bike. I've had it for over a year now. So um, the condition is probably not as good as it could be. And it, this is the seven speed version, seven speed internal gear hub. It's got a drum brake in the front and it has a coaster brake in the back. So you only have one lever that does the front and then your feet do the rear, just like on a cruiser kind of. And then it's got this cool cover that is obviously super helpful in the rain. It has like a tent like pull design inside, but since I've modified mine, um, it isn't necessary because I have this car seat here. And this is what makes this such a great bike for small kids and infants. It also came with uh, headlights, fenders. I mean, all these things that are usually accessories on bikes. This all came standard. Came with the cargo strap that goes over the side. It originally had a chain guard. Um, mine was rubbing a little bit and I didn't want to deal with it, so I just got rid of it. But uh, I made a couple changes, so in case you have any questions and wondering why. Um, the original bars, I'll grab them here, were these beautiful kind of swept back bars here. And I changed them out just because these are bikes that are like one size fits all. And um, just for me, the distance from here to here was a little short. And um, so these mountain bike riser bars that I had worked out great for that. And just having the clearance for the big seat there. Um, if you're not running this kid seat, there's obviously uh, it came with a bench seat that I just removed in there. And this seat, there's a seat belt if you're familiar with car seats that come with them. And I have that chained underneath. So you see the chain here. And that's what holds the seat belt to the bike. Came with a bell, which is always great to pass people. And then you get to see their reaction when they see this amazing bike. Uh, I added a mirror. Mirrors are great. Don't let people tell you they're dorky because you can't really look backwards while going forward. So this is really helpful. And uh, I changed this lever out because I think the lever that they supplied um, wasn't giving me enough force. So that's just a small adjustment. Otherwise, I've been super impressed with this this bike. Um, you know, it comes in a box. It has to be assembled, and it really needs to be assembled by somebody uh, such as myself who you know does bikes for a living. Um, I wouldn't expect the average person to put this together. It's definitely if you hate putting IKEA furniture together this would be your nightmare. <laughs> so it's, you know, you have to assemble the box portion, but that's not the hard part. You know, anybody, no matter how much you spend um, at your bike shop, they're taking it apart and making sure things are greased up and fitting properly. And that requires um, some of it, some skill with bikes. So I recommend that. Uh, the one thing I did change other than the handlebars is this is the original crank and chain ring. This is a one piece assembly. And um, this is my tip for anybody who's working on a, a bike that's has only one gear in the front, a one by we call it. But if you change this, this is the biggest and easiest way to change uh, your, your, your effective range. And what I mean by that is so this one is bigger than the one I've replaced it with. This is 34 teeth, and I think this was 40 something teeth. And what that translates to is this is gonna, this whole setup is gonna run lower. So you have seven gears in the back and those aren't gonna change. But if you change this, you're shifting that whole seven gear range. And what that means for you is you have more low gearing. And on a bike like this, you know, how fast do you need to go? So. Maybe you can't push it over 30 miles an hour, but you're going to be coasting anyways, and that's fine. So um, that's something I would recommend. And uh, I changed the saddle because the one on there was pretty comfy, but it was a little too, you know, you sit on it and 
There's a lot of flexing that you don't realize your butt is actually holding your bike steady while you balance. Um, yeah, but other than that, I, um, this is a really good solid buy. And um, this is the shorter version. As you can see, that this distance from here is significantly shorter than um, a lot of the other offerings or ones by the big uh, companies that design these. Um, this is just because I wasn't sure I wanted this bike at all. I wasn't sure it was going to work out. Now I'm in love with it and I can see why you'd want a bigger one. So that might be worth con considering having a bigger, bigger rack on there. And that's uh, it's a pretty good overview. I'd say one more thing is that, you know, a lot of people aren't familiar with this kind of gear shift lever. But this, or rather, this design is an internal gear hub, which... It is, if you're familiar with the older three-speed bikes, this is the new technology of that. This is seven speeds. And the main thing to know is that this is like a maintenance-free design. You don't have issues with your chain. You can shift it anytime without causing any problems because it's designed more like a car transmission. And I've absolutely loved this thing. And um, it's worth spending the money, I think, to get the seven over the three-speed, which is also an option because this bike flies downhill, but going uphill could be a lot of work. And there you have it. Now uh, I'll get you some footage of uh, riding the thing. Off is easy. The kickstand goes into the up position when we push off. It flips up there and the spring holds it in place. You can actually drive pretty slowly on this thing. So it actually balances really well. It's one of those things you just have to experience. And there's my dog who likes to run with us. And I can look down and see my baby. Now that she's safe in there and having fun.